Hi guys, this is uh, part three of the uh, foam helmet build. If you've watched my previous uh, video, part two, you'll see uh, I've done quite a substantial amount, especially on the uh, front mouth area. Uh, when I built the front mouth area, uh, it, I wasn't having like any, I didn't have a reference to uh, a drawing or anything like that. It's basically, I just put things on and. Um, I sort of went for it from there and to see how it sort of looked. The reason why I built out, I wanted to build it out like this, is so I can hollow out the inside so I have uh, space for my mouth to uh, manoeuvre because it's quite flush with my face when I when I um, I put it on. Uh, to be honest, I'm not too sure about the front though. To be honest, uh, because it sort of looks like a vulture's face, if you can make it out. Oh well. Uh, these uh, the little round things, or they are they like the little plastic scoop things you get inside a uh, baby feed uh, formulas. I just sort of sliced them, stuck them on, and then built around the uh, foam around them. I built the uh, the forehead bit. Basically, all that was I, I just sort of like drawed some sort of like groovy shapes or like triangles and that. And I sort of come up with that, and I just wanted like sort of like a, maybe like a head plate or some something. Uh, and I sort of like tried to in uh, uh, what's the word? Not even in fact, I wanted to like continue the design through the uh, front of the, um, the helmet itself. So I sort of like stuck these on, and then I sort of rounded them off with uh, the rotary tool, uh, and then I sort of like continued that on the side, going all the way from there to the back, and then on the same on the other side. Uh, as before, I said in the other video that uh, the face part from here all the way across is completely removable and then the forehead part all the way through the back is removable as well. Uh, so what I did was to continue the design I incorporated that with uh, these like um, foam side panels or whatever. I was originally going to use um, male and female clips to uh, join the two pieces together when uh, it's being worn but because I did this it's looking like there's quite a large surface area between the two pieces and I'm thinking that I may be able to uh, incorporate velcro. Um, next I'm probably going to be working on the back uh, I'm probably going to be doing something on the face part to make it look less like a vulture or a, a bird a bird's helmet I, 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 I don't know but Overall, I'm quite chuffed with it, to be honest, because nothing's been drawn, it's all off the top of my head, just literally placing things and then seeing how it works out. I'm sure I could do something to the jewel, or, or I might just keep it the way it is. Maybe the paint job, uh, when it comes to painting it, may tie it all together in that, and it may pull it off. You know, also, I uh, adapted the eyepieces, I made them more, um, more of like a, a narrow uh, eyepiece. Basically, I just uh, glued uh, the bottom panel to the actual face jaw bit and then I had the actual top eye bit a part of the skull so it, it's just trying to uh, infuse the uh, designs uh, more uh, effectively but yeah and that's pretty much it guys uh, for for now obviously uh, next video will be coming soon uh, feel free to subscribe uh, click the button if you like uh, any suggestions, like I said before, I'm fully open to uh, suggestions. Uh, leave them in the uh, comment box below. Or if you want to uh, message me, not through the comments box, you message me through Facebook. There'll be a link to my uh, Facebook page uh, in the comment box below as well. But that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, more videos coming soon.